Hi, Bill Barber from Polygon here. In this video, we're going to be taking material from Polygon.com, bringing it into Cinema 4D using our material converter, and then rendering it out with Corona. Before we start, we should take a look at the files we'll be needing during this video. We'll be needing the Wood Flooring 044 material, and the Polygon Material Converter add-on for Cinema 4D. Both of these I already have saved to my hard drive, and I'll include a link to them below the video. Okay, let's head over to Cinema 4D. So this is the scene that we'll be working in today. Uh, it's a very simple scene, just a plane for our material to get assigned to, a sky dome with a HDR uh, for lighting, and I'll be using the perspective camera as our view to render from. But before we get started on our materials, we're going to need to set up our converter. Now I've already got mine installed. If I go up to plugins here and click on material converter, you'll see the, the converter pops up. But let's, uh, let's talk you through the process of doing that yourself. So the first step is the zip folder from the website. You'll need to unzip that into a, a folder on your hard drive. I've put mine on the desktop. Once you've done that, go up to the script menu, use the scripts, and then run a script. Then go to, in my case, the desktop, because that's where I put mine. And then within that, you've got a file called installer polygon material converter.py. Select that file and hit open. And then Cinema 4D will pop up a little message saying that it's been installed. Um, it does, however, say please restart C4D before using it, so you will need to do that. I don't know because I've already got it installed, so if I just hit OK, it will actually bring that converter back up for us. Uh, and now we can talk about using it. So the first option up the top here is the textures folder. Now this is where you tell the converter where the materials are on your hard drive. Yep. So let's go and find those. In my case, they are here. And as you can see, I've got a, a load of different materials downloaded from Polygon already. And what I could do is just hit OK at this point, and the converter would bring in all of those materials, um, which you could then assign to the various objects in your scene. I'm just going to pick the specific material we're working on, though. So to do that, just click on the folder, Wood Flooring 044 in my case. Hit OK. And now the converter is saying one material was found. The next option is the renderer. Now, the converter will fill that in for you. It will look at your scene, um, analyze the, the setup, and figure out what renderer you're using. Um, but if you do need to change that, then you can just uh, pick from the drop down. But we'll obviously leave that on Corona. Underneath that are some advanced settings. Uh, by default, they're pretty much good to go. You don't need to touch them. Um, but if you do need to, to find those settings, that's where they are. But I'm just going to hit convert. We'll get a little pop-up saying that the um, converter's brought the material in, and you'll see it appear. So now to assign it, we just need to drag it onto the floor plane, and we're pretty much good to go. Uh, one thing I'm going to do, just because when I was setting up the scene, I noticed the tiling didn't look particularly great. I've got some tiling options down here. I'm going to change this to 2. Uh, there we go. And then hit render and take a look at what we've got. Yeah, so looking pretty good right off the bat. You can tell the converter's done its job and brought in all the different maps and whatnot. Um, one thing that we do need to adjust though is the gloss map. Um, if you compare the render here with the reference images on our website for this material, it's not quite as shiny as it should be. Those reflections are looking a little on the blurry side. Um, so let's fix that. Now, this is something you will come across. Uh, different renderers have different implementations of PBR, so sometimes there's, there's some minor uh, adjustments to make along the way. Um, and thankfully, this one's nice and easy. So, <laughs> let's double click on the material and bring up our material editor here. I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger so we can see what we're doing. And then within that, you've got all the, the different parts of the material. Yeah. Now, the part we want to look at is reflection. And then within that, if we load, go down here a little bit, you'll see glossiness. And then within that, there's a texture in place, wood flooring, gloss, 4K, etc. That's the that's the gloss map for this material. Now, what we need to do is put something in to con to give us control over that gloss map. Because if I click on it, there's there's not much in there. Um, the it basically can choose the color pro profile. There is an exposure setting, and you you could make adjustments using that, but there is a better way. So let's go back, and instead I'm going to click on this little arrow, and then I'm going to go down to Corona, and then Color Mix. And that, you'll see the texture's gone now, and it says Color Mix instead. But if I click on that, 
you'll see the textures in it now in there instead but we've got some other uh, other things to play with but before I do I'm going to give this a name of gloss adjust just so we can keep track of what we're doing um, and then within this you've got this mix mode down the uh, down the bottom now if I change this from normal to multiply um, we'll then be able to multiply the effect this texture is having yeah on the base color now the base color is white uh, uh, on a gloss map white means a hundred percent reflective yeah now that's being replaced at the moment by the texture so that color is not coming into play whatsoever the texture is instead doing the gloss map but the mix type allows us to adjust that so by setting it to a multiply operation what we'll be doing is multiplying the gloss map now if you think of it, think of it in terms of math if you multiply something by one or 100% in this case you're not going to make any changes to it one by what one, one times one is one if you multiply something by zero it's got no effect whatsoever it's, it's zero times zero or one times zero is nothing yeah um, and you'll notice that map changes as I lowered the, the uh, slider the gloss maps disappeared and we're just getting our base color from this uh, from this shader so if I were to render this now we'd come up with almost like mirror like reflection um, which which isn't what we want we want something in the middle about about 70 percent should do should do nicely for us um, and with that done we can close down the material editor hit render again yeah and we can see now that the the reflections are looking a lot more uh, not all like they should be. It's more reflective, shinier, less blurry. Um, in fact, if I compare it with the previous render, you can see the see the difference. It's a uh, yeah. So <laughs> a minor little change can, can have uh, a really big effect on the on the finished look. And this looks more like a nice, clean, shiny floor, which is what we were after. So yeah, good render. In summary, we've taken a material from Polygon.com, brought it into Cinema 4D using our material converter, made a slight adjustment to the gloss map to make our floor look a bit more shiny, and then rendered it out with Corona.